Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello everyone, this is Nagato's Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to manually turn up your PlayStation Vita system volume with a VPK called Vita Volume. And this does work with PlayStation Vitas that has broken volume buttons. So for example, I'm going to be using my PlayStation Vita 1000 that has a broken volume button. My PlayStation Vita can um, basically turn down the volume. However, it can't turn it up. So it does get quite annoying without, you know, man manually factory resetting the Vita to basically get the volume working again. So this is a basically a bypass for hack systems. Of unfortunately you can't do this with um of course not a hacked Vita, but if you already have a hacked PlayStation Vita, whether it's using the Hankaku or any type of exploit from you know the Vita's hacking library, then you are able to do this process. So what I am also going to do in this video as well, or notify, I'll showcase another method on how to do the same thing. So basically, a long time ago on my channel, when I very first started on YouTube, um, the video is probably is <laughs> bad quality. However, I did teach you in that video on how to set this up via with registry editor, and that's another way on how to basically get your sound working on the Vita if you have a broken um um Vita button but with that being stated as well we could go ahead and get started on all of the things we're going to need to talk about in today's video so the things we need or the prerequisites for today anything that i say will be in, of course in the download description below um will be noted in the description so the first thing what we need is a modded playstation vita or PSTV using any exploit such as hankaku h on core or the you know the h on core 2 the new hack or trinity if you don't know how to install any of those hacks and you want to basically hack your PlayStation Vita, I'll have links in the description below and also cards showcased on the screen as of right now on how to hack your system on the latest firmware. As well, your system for those firmware either needs to be on 3.60 to 3.72 if you want to install any of those exploits to use this program. As well, you need the latest version of Vita Shell. You also need the latest version of Vita Volume.VPK. This is going to allow us to basically turn up our volume manually within the system without basically messing with the button since of course if your buttons are broken you can't turn up the volume or decrease the sound but with all that fun stuff um getting out the way as well i do recommend that you guys can go ahead and follow my social medias so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials i drop on my channel i highly do recommend to go ahead and being subscribed and hitting that notification button since i update on the latest news and terms and also provide the best tutorials for you guys on you know for the vita ps3 ps4 and any playstation system that deals with hacking and exploits as well if you do need any support or have any questions or you just want to join my official community you can feel free to join my official discord i will have that in the link in the description below or you can just type in a link as showcased here on the screen via with the url bar and not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene you can also get support for your favorite consoles whether it be for the playstation portable vita ps3 ps4 i basically do all of the playstation systems even down to ps1 and ps2 so if you have any general questions you want to ask you could ask in a discord and if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of the money that i may receive from my fans and supporters will go back into my channel it will help me buy things such as maybe a console to showcase on you know on my channel or things like a software editing tools um a recording microphone or basically a better microphone so i can provide you know better quality audio for you guys any of the money will help me just build up my youtube channel and it'll help me provide better quality videos for you guys to watch with all that fun stuff getting out the way I just want to give a special thanks out to the developer and the cat streams. So I remember seeing this tweet um, not too long ago. Maybe it was a month ago, so it's pretty kind of long. But I remember um, they released this project out. So I did want to, um, you know, inform you guys if you have this. It may not, you know, be for the mass majority of people. But I think it's still one of, uh, you know, the cool things in homebrew for PlayStation Vitas. So if you have a broken Vita like me and you don't want to go out and spend another $100 just to get vita sound or if you have an older vita that may be broken and you have a secondary one that you use now you can fix your vita with its broken sound but all that fun stuff getting stated out the way we can go ahead and get started on today's video
Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Vita side of things first. So first things first, I'm assuming that you're already on, you know, Hankaku, Hon Core, or you basically have your exploit running. If you got to use Hon Core or, you know, the Hankaku or Trinity hack, go ahead, run that via however method. But since I'm on Hankaku Enzo, I already have a Hankaku at boot, so I could just boot into Vita Shell. I'll also have a link in the Vita Shell for the latest version, which is 2.0 as well. But you do need Vita Shell for this process. So assuming that you already have Vita Shell and also um either any of those exploits I stated, we could go ahead and go into Vita Shell and open it up just as normal. Now what we need to do is go ahead and basically transfer our file over or basically um Vita Volume.vpk. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, hit start. If you're going to be doing the FTP method, make sure that it's toggled on. You could toggle on and off or basically left and right. If you're going to be doing the USB method or FTP, since I'm going to be doing a Fazla FTP client for this, I'm just going to have my stuff on FTP. But if you're using a USB cable and you want to transfer your file over via with, um, you know, UX0 and also to your uh, memory card from your PC, just plug in your um, USB cable into your Vita as of right now as I'm speaking. Make sure your select buttons on USB. But but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using FTP for now. Make sure also your Wi-Fi is on if you're using FTP. If you're doing FTP like me, all you would have to do now is hit select on your system. And now you will see your FTP server showcased on your PlayStation Vita. What you want to do now is just leave your Vita on standby. You don't have to touch it. And now what we're going to do is go to our PC, run up files of the FTP client and get Vita shell or excuse me, get I can't even talk today. Vita volume.vbk installed with Vita Shell. So I'll meet you guys on a PC just for that. Alright, guys, so we're back on the PC as showcased here. Here is Vita volume.vbk. And as of right now, what we're going to do is just open up files of the FTP client. Assuming that you've been watching my videos and if you're just, you know, a normal modder in terms of, you know, dealing with PlayStation 3 or Vita, you probably already have files of the FTP client installed. If you don't know what this program is, it's just a regular EXE that allows us to connect or send files via with our internet connection over from our PC to a Vita. This does work with PS3 as well. If you don't have this already installed on your PC, I will have a link for files of the FTP client that y'all guys could check out and then you just install it like a regular exe but what we need to do now for the host right here is just type in our vita's ip so that's what i'm doing right now always the poor guys is one three three seven and then all you would have to do is just wait for it to um connect so it's just retrieving my uh listings right now let me just go ahead and quick connect again since it seems like it's taking a little while for it to do All right, so there we go. I don't know what was the issue. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to pop up on the screen, but here is the Vita showcased in live time. What we're gonna do is go into UX0, or we could just file or basically transfer a file into UX0. So we're gonna take our Vita dot uh, VBK or volume VBK and just drag it into UX0. And now I already have it on my Vita. That's why you see this um, error on the screen, but all I'm gonna do is just overwrite it so once you transfer your file, whether you're using the USB method or file to the FTP client, what we're going to do now is go ahead, close out of Vita, or excuse me, not Vita Shell. We're going to close out of FileZilla, and then we're going to go back onto Vita Shell to get this um, VBK installed successfully. All right, guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto Vita Shell. What we need to do is just go ahead and cancel out the FTP server since we already got our file transferred over. What we're going to do now is go into UX0 scroll all the way down and where we see vita volume.vpk this is what we're going to install and then just go ahead and hit x over it once again it shouldn't take too long for it to install since it's just a very short file it's only 30.56 kilobytes so it's not a large file at all so i'm just waiting for it to do its thing now as showcased here i cannot turn up my volume as showcased right now on the screen I can only decrease it as I stated in the intro, but after here, I'm going to get my volume working. So here is Vita volume right here. All I got to do is just run the program like normal. And now it's very simple on how to do this. So all I would have to do is hit X or cross on my system to decrease the volume. And all I would have to do is hit circle to decrease. So let's say I want full volume on my Vita since I can't even, um, you know, deal with the, um, 
or basically press the button since it's broken i'm going to go ahead and put my thing at max volume which is 30 and all you would have to do is hit square to apply settings and it will reboot your vita so that's what i'm going to do here all right guys so i'm back on my playstation vita and now as showcased here i'm just going to open up any app and i'm going to put my vita to my microphone and as showcased here, you should hear my PlayStation Vita is now working successfully in terms of sound. I'm not going to play any games due to uh, just copyright issues, but you could tell that my Vita is working because you hear the normal sound. Now, I won't be able to, uh, you know, increase or decrease. So it's very useful to have this program if you have broken buttons. But with that being stated out the way, my name is Nagato. Hope you guys did learn something from this video. And hopefully um, you got a fixed Vita as of right now if you had a broken volume button with that being said my name is Nagato I'm signing out thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace